This is the story of the rise and rise of Craig Wright. On the 18th of August 2008, the domain name Bitcoin.org was registered. And on the 31st of October of the same year, the Bitcoin white paper was released to a cryptographic mailing list. Then, on the 3rd of January 2009, Satoshi Nakamoto mined the Bitcoin Genesis block at height zero. Embedded in the Coinbase data of the Genesis block was the text, The Times, 3rd of January 2009, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. Then, on the 9th of June 2011, Dave Kleiman acknowledges a transfer of 1,100,111 Bitcoin from Craig Wright for the purposes of creating a trust, scheduled to be returned to Craig Wright on the 1st of January 2020. And this is the Tulip Trust document. Dave Kleiman wrote, I acknowledge the trust and the transfer of Bitcoins to this trust. I have full control of all software and the keys to use to manage Bitcoin as of this date, the 9th of June 2011. He goes on to say, I have received 1,100,111 Bitcoin from Craig Wright. At the time of transfer, this is valued at around 100,000 US dollars. I will form a trust to be managed by at least three people, but no more than seven at any time. All Bitcoin will be returned to Dr. Wright on the 1st of January 2020. On the 10th of July 2014, Craig Wright is interviewed by Dale Dickens at Australia's first ever Bitcoin conference in Melbourne called Inside Bitcoin Conference. The three-part series by Dale was called The Bitcoin Doco, and this was the first time that Craig Wright had ever been interviewed publicly about Bitcoin. On the 24th of July of the same year, 2014, Craig Wright appears at the inaugural Informa Conference in Sydney, Australia. It was entitled CryptoCon Conference and Bar Camp, where Craig sat on a panel that were taking questions on and answering questions about Bitcoin. On the 29th of October, 2015, at the Bitcoin Investor Conference in Las Vegas, Craig Wright explains to Nick Zabo and the watching world for the first time that Bitcoin script is Turing complete through the use of control loops, making Bitcoin a general purpose computing language. On the 8th of December, 2015, Wired Magazine then publishes an article titled Is Bitcoin's Creator This Unknown Australian Genius? where they presented an article presenting all the evidence that they collected that Craig Wright was indeed the man behind the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. This was the first time that anyone had laid publicly the claim as to who Satoshi Nakamoto was. The following day, on the 9th of December 2015, Gizmodo magazine publishes an article that evidences Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto, the inventor of Bitcoin, titled Here's all the evidence that Craig Wright invented Bitcoin. That same day, the Australian police raided the home of Craig Wright in relation to being the man behind the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator and inventor of Bitcoin. This event was reported on by the International Business Times. The article was titled, Bitcoin Inventor Exposed, Police Raid Home of Craig Stephen Wright, Alleged to be Satoshi Nakamoto. On the 2nd of May 2016, Gavin Andreessen, creator of the Bitcoin Foundation and the individual known to have inherited the role of lead developer for Bitcoin off of Satoshi Nakamoto, publishes a blog post titled, I Believe Craig Stephen Wright is the Person Who Invented Bitcoin. On the same day, John Matonis, monetary economist, co-founding director of the Bitcoin Foundation and chief economist at Cypherpunks Holdings, also published a Medium article titled How I Met Satoshi and names Craig Wright as the creator of Bitcoin. Along with the articles released by Gavin Andreessen and John Matonis, Wired Magazine also publishes an article naming Craig Wright as the inventor of Bitcoin titled How Craig Wright Privately Proved He Created Bitcoin. One of Bitcoin's first coders describes Craig Wright's private proof that he created the cryptocurrency in contrast with his flimsy public evidence. However, Craig had not actually offered any public evidence. Gizmodo also fired out an article titled Gavin Andreessen, I was not hacked and I believe Craig Wright is Satoshi. Also, and again on the same day, the 2nd of May 2016, The Economist publishes an article referencing the claim that Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonymous inventor of Bitcoin. The article was titled, Craig Stephen Wright claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto. Is he? Simultaneously, the BBC also publishes an article referencing the claim that Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonymous inventor of Bitcoin. The article was titled, Australian Craig Wright claims to be Bitcoin creator. 
At the BTC 2016 Blockchain Technology Conference in New York that took place on the same dates, Gavin Andresen gives an interview to the BBC saying that he met up with and was shown cryptographic proof beyond reasonable doubt by Craig Wright in London that he possessed the private key from the very first Bitcoin block. I do think Craig is Satoshi. I met with him in London. Uh, he fits the kind of person that I was interacting with way back in 2010 and he provided some cryptographic proof uh, using the private key from the very first Bitcoin block uh, to show that he possessed that key. So although it's impossible to prove something like that 100%, I think uh, for me he's proved it beyond a reasonable doubt. It was at this conference that Gavin Andreessen gave a testimony on stage that Craig Wright showed him cryptographic proof that he possessed the private key to the very first ever mined Bitcoin block, known to be mined by Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised. I wasn't asked why I'm convinced Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit, he signed in my presence uh, the private, using the private key from block one. Block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. Next, on the 30th of June 2016, Andrew O'Hagan publishes a book titled The Satoshi Affair that names Craig Wright as the creator of Bitcoin and the man behind the pseudonymous author of the Bitcoin white paper, Satoshi Nakamoto. Exactly one year later, on the 30th of June 2017, John Matonis introduces Craig Wright to the audience at the Future of Bitcoin Conference 2017, Arnhem, the Netherlands, as Mr. Bitcoin Dundee. You may also remember my name from a year ago when I wrote a blog post called How I Met Satoshi. Um, I want to do something today that's a little bit uh, unusual for a Bitcoin conference. In fact, I don't think it's ever been done before at a Bitcoin conference. Um, I want to donate and, and turn over the remainder of my speaking time to a colleague of mine from Enchain. Uh, he is the legend from Sydney, Australia. He is Mr. Bitcoin Dundee, Craig Wright. It was at this conference that Craig gave an impassioned speech about Bitcoin scaling. We need to start being optimistic, positive, build, allow competition, allow free access to code, allow people to actually start competing. See that whole screen? That whole screen is payments. See that little pixel there? That's Bitcoin. That's what we are right now. We are nothing. If we want to be something, we need to scale and radically, not off chain, not moving some of the security into side chains and splitting the model. We need to right now, today, start scaling. When we split Bitcoin into millions and millions of pegged systems, when we add inflation, when we create these side chains, we give away the security model. If 100% of everything mines Bitcoin and controls Bitcoin, that's a security model that is hard, that no government can take over, no company can take over, no one takes over. Bitcoin can scale. I want every person using, not altcoins, not whatever else, I want them using Bitcoin. When every single person pays for their cup of coffee, pays for their uh, whatever they want every day using one distributed central currency that is not controlled, that is hard money. That's what Bitcoin is about. Who here actually knows what the um, Genesis block message was about? Who's read the Times page? They were considering buying the toxic assets. The government was saying the naughty banks who we've just given billions to refuse to change their business model and risk their money again. And if they don't do it, we're going to buy them and nationalize them. So what is a node? A node is not every little tiny Raspberry Pi running everywhere. The machines running Bitcoin in January 2009 were bigger than every single Raspberry Pi. If you have been in Bitcoin since 2009 and you can't afford a $20,000 node to help this network, piss off. And I will say that one again. If you will not do this, if you will not help this network, and if you will not take this thing that has given you financial sovereignty, you financial freedom, you financial independence, and help other people by spending a little bit of money on a decent network, fuck off. 
It was on the 14th of January 2020 that Craig Wright finally confirmed that the keys to the Tulip Trust were returned to him via bonded courier. This was reported in the Asia Times newspaper on an article titled Craig Wright, Satoshi Keys Have Been Delivered. The following year, on the 28th of June 2021, London's High Court grants Dr Craig Wright, via default judgment, copyright ownership of the Bitcoin white paper, as the defendant, Cobra, opted not to defend the claim. Dr Wright's lawyers put out a statement saying, Dr Wright was today awarded default judgment in his copyright infringement action against Cobra. This is an important development in Dr Wright's quest to obtain judicial vindication of his copyright in his white paper. Later on in the same year, on the 6th of December 2021, a Florida jury found that Dr. Craig Wright did not owe half of 1.1 million bitcoins to the family of David Kleiman. In a court case that saw Ira Kleiman as the personal representative of the estate of David Kleiman, the plaintiff, versus Craig Wright, the defendant. Both the Times newspapers and the Guardian newspapers reported on the results of this case. The Times published an article titled Bitcoin founder Craig Wright wins battle to keep his crypto billions. And the Guardian wrote an article titled Australian man Craig Wright wins US court battle for Bitcoin fortune worth billions. The next year, on the 1st of August 2022, a UK High Court judge, Martin Chamberlain, ruled that comments made by podcaster Peter McCormack calling Dr Wright a liar and a fraud in 2019 caused serious harm to his reputation. And later that year, was ordered to pay Craig Wright £90,000 in costs and he also had his appeal refused. However, on the 20th of October 2022, in a rather shocking judgement, a Norwegian judge, Helen Engel Britton wrote that Magnus Granoff had sufficient factual grounds to claim that Craig Wright had lied and cheated in his attempt to prove that he is Satoshi Nakamoto. This ruling has since been appealed. On the 22nd of October 2022, Craig Wright posted on Twitter, the last of the patents related to scaling have been filed yesterday. The research shows we can scale to over 10 to the power of 11 transactions per second. The cost will be under one thousandth of a US cent, a standard transaction. That is 100 times lower than any transaction processing system ever created. Sorry, blockchain scales. The Medium article containing all the links to the various posts mentioned in this presentation can be found in the description. Stay tuned as the saga continues.